Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Taurus and um, it is all your money reading. Everything about your finances, your work, your career, my dear Taurus, for November and a little bit over 2024. I hope you'll enjoy this reading, my dear Taurus. Welcome everyone. Welcome my dear viewers. Um, I wish you all the best in everything you're doing. My best wishes to you all and I'm in gratitude to all of you being here. My dear Taurus, this is everything you need to know about your career and work and money. And let's start with the two most important factors for all Taurus. Glasses on and let me begin. Yes. <clears throat> Nearly there. Right. Here we go. Okay. First message. We've got the puppeteer. This is all about explanations and apologies. You might be going through a stage of needing to do a lot of apologies and a lot of explanations in your work sector, perhaps. Uh, maybe because you're dealing with someone who isn't really quite understanding. They need to understand what you're doing and the way you're doing it. So explanations are going to make a big difference. And I feel like some apologies will be coming towards your explanation. So that's um, understandable. Let's see the next important factor. Then we've got um, the Smith. This is about over overthinking things sometimes too much and taking action. Uh, in some cases, you need to to really think things through and then take action. And sometimes when it's overthinking, you might be just, you know, um, using too much energy. Uh, and futile maybe you need to just take action after thinking things through and not overthinking things sometimes when you overthink things can cause a lot of um, um, confusion so that's that now we're going to take two more messages from another deck for all Taurus let's see what, what else you need to know okay one has oh wow the wheel of fortune has just come up the wheel of fortune is about extraordinary amount of luck coming your way luck to the highest level and degree and also it is about um, destiny taking control to take you somewhere to take you to the next level the next one for all taurus very intriguing okay there is someone of air energy that you might be dealing with aquarius gemini libra someone that's always truthful direct and to the point might be advising you to do something it's maybe worthwhile to listen to this person and take advice they are someone very honest and very truthful okay so um now what i'm going to do is find out more for you my dear taurus and the way to do that is we're going to take out two important messages for all taurus right now they not now, sorry, November onwards, money, work, career. So century, it shows like you are going to be um, living a life of comfort, harmony, peace, and safety. Maybe your safety is at question. There are situations where I think destiny will play its role in taking you to the next level where you will feel safe again, happy and protected in a place where you call your own. Something that makes you feel really comfortable. Let's see, Taurus, the truth, November onwards, money, work, career. And it says the moon. The moon is going to show you the magic of its power. And the power of the moon is to show you your path and everything hidden inside um, what you, what's out of sight. You get to see everything and see your path clearly. The magic of the moon is about setting you free from uncertainty. You become certain and know where you stand and empowered. Uh, to see things clearly to be able to move forward i'm going to ask one important oops one important message only from this deck for all taurus november what's one very important answer to that question it says wait uh maybe you shouldn't take action right now just a little patience um since destiny is there i've got no problems destiny is going to show you the way and it's going to be in control of situations so don't rush um into things just wait a little bit now um, i'm going to look into two more messages important messages for all taurus november onwards and we've got wow the ace of swords there's going to be a great victory triumph and success seeing things very clearly just like the moon it shows you things very clearly a new beginning that gives you a lot of aha moments where things fall into place and you get to understand why certain things happened and um it shows to me that a gr brilliant new beginning that gives you a lot of epiphanies and a lot to be grateful for Actually, I'll take this and put it over here and then put this there. The next one, next message for all Taurus, November and onwards. 
we have the magician the magician is all about power glory awareness letting you know where you stand being able to move forward without hesitation it helps you achieve everything you've always wanted things that were not working like magic they fall into place where you feel this certain power that nothing can stop you nothing can stand in your way absolute power with the magician that's beautiful okay now we're going to look at some more messages for you my dear taurus november onwards we're going to take about maybe three or four messages four messages right feeling entrapped unhappy at the mercy of others circumstances that's going to change it's just for a period of time it is going to change let's see um maybe you are sacrificing too much and leaving yourself uh, not doing much for yourself for the sake of others to make people happy and in the process you're becoming unhappy i feel like that is going to change there is the magician again so it does show me that great power is waiting to be given to you power beyond your imagination power um like magic things are going to fall into place you are going to be empowered big time very soon this is going to happen very very soon i'd say within a month from now from this reading so i'd say november december november december you will be so empowered you are going to be absolutely in awe amazed at everything wonderful happening in your life how like magic things are falling into place and i feel like it's going to be the end of your sacrifice that's going to come to an end so that's great news and finally you're leaving the past behind you and saying goodbye to it keeping the memories and saying goodbye to the past and it was maybe the past that was um holding you back but that's going so that's great news um now we're going to have a look at three messages for all taurus november money work korea starting with the first one and we've got the candle the candle is about visibility and it's seeing things clearly like the moon Wow, just like the moon. It shows you your path clearly. You get to know how to take action, what is imperative for you. You're going to be manifesting money. Um, there could be managerial positions. There could be, there's a lot of high ranking because you have the ability to see empowerment, to see your, your life clearly. And plus, don't forget the, the wheel of fortune, which brings you a lot of luck and transfers everything for you uh, united with uh, the certainty and the clarity that the moon gives you another certainty and clarity is the ace of swords and the power of the magician nobody can stop you my dear taurus whatever you want to do now is the time take advantage of it you are going to be empowered you are going to be moving at a speed without any um, hesitance there's no hesitation you're taking action that's just like this you don't have to overthink things things are going to be moving in your favor you are going to be taking action and taking action without hesitation and it's this action that's going to take you to the greatest levels so you are going to be able to take uh, action and um, the wheel of fortune is going to be supporting you and the moon in every way you are supported now the, the candle is also about making things visible it's about high ranking it's about visibility and athletic work some of you might be doing physical work, athletic work, taking care of your health, working in athletics. The truth. Taurus. Right. Gold. Solid finances. Investing with integrity. Deep values. This is all about money long term for the long haul. Satisfying work conditions. Satisfying financial situations. Careers and banking. Long term careers. Long term positions. And solid finances. That's beautiful. One more. All Taurus, November onwards, money, work, Korea, the truth. And we've got the eggs. This is like starting over. You're saving up, starting, uh, resources are becoming great. Um, there's nest and, and putting money together with someone, starting a new family maybe. It looks like some of you are looking into healthcare. There's great new opportunities and insurance also is here, very strong. So that's beautiful. Do think about having some sort of insurance. Okay. Um, I think that covers most. Now there's just a few more, some more information. The truth for all Taurus, Money Work Korea, November onwards. And I'll put my glasses on to see. Right, it says, Mr. Kilo, this is about healing the energy that flows through you. You are going to heal. Just like the magician is about healing and giving you empowerment, you are going to heal big time. A lot of healing is going to come through, especially once you're leaving the past behind you and 
moving past that. It says protected by angels. You are protected by angels and you are cherished by angels at the same time. You are cherished by angels. This is so important for you to know, uh, my dear Taurus, that you are so protected. So everything that happens, happens for a good reason to get you to the next level. And I'll take one more for all Taurus, the truth. And it says here that breaking trail, a breakthrough is at hand very soon. A breakthrough is at hand. So um, that helps. That also is in regard to the Ace of Swords, a breakthrough in, at hand. And I'm going to take one or two messages. Let's see how many we can take from this deck. Bear with me, my dear viewers. Okay, here we go. Two messages for all Taurus. When you work Korea. Okay, so there is two, yes. Okay, we'll find out what it says in a moment. Oh, bear with me, my dear viewers. I knew something was going to fall. I have to just hold it. Okay, uh, two messages. Okay, what have we got here? First, it says, heart. This is all about getting to the heart of the matter. It is about healing. It's about bliss and um, affection, fulfillment, talking, expressing yourself with affection, paying attention to those around you, being kind and compassionate when you're dealing with situations. That's the only way to heal a, a situation, especially if it's connected to the letter J, if you're dealing with someone that's got J there, or J block, or something to do with J. Forgiveness is needed. And um, the only way to reach to contentment uh, and um, and bliss is for you to to go through to go to th through contentment. You need to forgive. You need to use your caring mechanisms, all your um, attention to detail and to get to the heart of the matter to be able to resolve something, and that is going to heal it. The next one is um, it says uh, there's an end of the season. Now this is about connected. Open mind to be open minded to use your wisdom, and that is going to help you understand how to move forward and see both sides of a story, especially if you are having uh, any kind of um, disagreement or problems in apologizing at work. There's apologies, there's explanations in order to, to get to the bottom of this and finally resolve it. It says, Don't leave a maybe, uh, more information is needed, give that necessary information, and you know. Um, maybe that perfect editing that needs to be done, see both sides of the, the situation so that you can um, overcome any kind of problems, any kind of, uh, if there's changes to be made, make the changes. Uh, stay connected so that you can put an end to a, a problem and resolve it. That's very good. That's wonderful. The resolutions are always... Um, Excellent to put an end to something. Now I'm going to clarify some of the cards and see what else we need to know. So we'll go through, starting with this feeling of the mercy of circumstances, the Eight of Swords for all Taurus, Eight of Swords. Let's see what this is all about, the truth. Is it to do with the past or is the current situation? Right, it is dealing with someone of water energy. You're having a problem with someone that might have water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, either one. They're water energy. But ultimately, you are going to be relieved from this, being uh, stuck and not being able to move. You're leave, you're, this situation is ending, and you are going to be celebrating the ending. And it's connected to someone of water energy. Remember that. Water energy. I'll just put this over here. Okay. So now, let's go to the past. I think it is connected to the past. And it was part of your destiny. You see, we've got destiny here. We've got the destiny again in connection to this situation. I feel like it was part of your destiny. But let's have a look at the Six of Cups, leaving the past behind and moving forward. It's something that is no longer working. It's going to reach an impasse. And it is connected to water energy again. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It's something that's not in your hands. Nothing can be done. All resolutions are out of the way. And nothing can be done. This is an ending an end of a situation and you're leaving the past behind and you were sacrificing so the sacrifice comes to an end let's have a look at destiny and the wheel of fortune for all taurus yes it is going to bring you elevation money height ranking 
victories, feeling abundant and really wealthy and very comfortable. Um, abundance in all areas of your life, happiness, love, happy in your work, happy in everything you're doing. The sun is going to be shining and bringing you abundance. This is all to do with, all to do with um, destiny. Bringing you gold, bringing you elevation. Gold is also um, the fact that solid finances and investing with integrity and, of course, elevation and celebration more than anything else is going to be when this situation ends and you feel really happy and um, a lot, a lot of abundant, abundant in many ways, released, relieved and released from a lot of heartache. So much heartache you're released from. So that is really wonderful to know. My dear Taurus, this is magnificent. November is going to be great for you. It seems a lot to celebrate, a lot to be happy, and the sun shining in your path. So that's the end of that. And let's see what the new beginning brings you. The Ace of Swords, what kind of victories are there for Taurus? This new beginning is going to be making you feel abundant, secured, financially secured. Large amount of money. Have a look at that. Large amount of money. Money that you are going to be elevating you to high levels where you're going to be thinking how to invest it, what to do. It's going to give you financial security and more. There could be a connection to someone of earth energy like yourself. And um, I feel like you are going to be working well together also in this new beginning. So that's wonderful to know. A major rise in your money. I'll just put it over here. Okay. Now let's move on to the next level and let's see what is the magician going to do for all Taurus. They're saying a little bit of patience, all your sadness, unhappiness, disconnection, all of that comes to an end. Once you leave a situation or somebody's leaving, it's going to be over. You are going to be empowered big time and you're finally going to have all the gratitude and all the blessings coming your way. One more challenge and it's going to all this comes to an end, which is absolutely that two of swords, a, play, a situation that completely ends. Let's have a look at your sacrifices and what's... Okay, so you were torn. Isn't it incredible? Being torn in two places, not knowing where to be. Not happy, maybe, in either one. Who comes to the rescue? The magician. The magician comes to the rescue and finally you are really going to know that you are cherished by the heavens. Like this card says, you are cherished by the heavens. The magician is going to give you the utmost power. This is the magician. This is the magician. And this is three decks, three magicians. Showing that you are going to be uplifted to high levels beyond your imagination, beyond, beyond your expectation. The magician also is going to give you your dream wishes. This is also there. What you don't see happening. Money is coming big time. Not only money, this is about your wishes being granted. Most of your wishes. This is the wish card. Finally getting that which is going to be yours. But the magician, uh, three times in your reading, shows that you are going to be empowered beyond your expectations. And you will know with this power that comes to you and everything that comes, all the blessings, you will know that you are um, cherished by the angels. Truly cherished by the angels. And getting all that, this is cherished by the angels, by the way. I keep putting it protected and cherished by the angels. When you're feeling unhappy, you need to know that the power of the magician is going to take you to high levels of power. That's what the magician is all about. Like magic, things are going to fall into place for you. You are going to be in so much gratitude, my dear Taurus. So much gratitude for all that's coming, for everything that's going to be given to you. So many blessings are pouring in. That you are going to be manifesting all your wishes and your dreams. So that is spectacular and great to know. Let's have a look at who the Queen of Swords is. Oh, wow. Well, two cards just fell on my hand out of the car. Look at that. <laughs> was I shuffle. I had to show you that. That's unbelievable. Okay. So who is this air energy? Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It's someone that you're working with. Somebody that works very hard. And their hard work shows. They bring a lot of money. And I feel somehow she, this person is connected to you. Money is there. Somebody may maybe, maybe at work, you're working with someone or under someone or with a manager who is air energy. A lot of money is coming. Hard work is paying off. You just got to pay attention to detail. Detail. Uh, again here with a puppeteer. It shows again explanations, apologies. 
This is so important. Um, why I say that? Because attention to detail, you need to explain yourself well. You need to pay attention to detail. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of Taurus are perfectionists, mighty Taurus, but you might be dealing with someone that might be needing a little bit more explanations when you're giving them um, an order or when you're putting uh, a, a request, you, you need to be very clear. I also feel like a lot of money is coming and it's going to be big and it's going to help support you in any other avenue and help those who are really, um, those of you who are, those who are in need, you will be able to do charity and, and so forth. But um, it's very bizarre because I'm seeing you start over again in a new place. Maybe you're leaving a situation where you're not happy and starting somewhere else. So let's have a look finally at being unhappy. Let's see what is this unhappiness that you are not happy about. Let's check it out. The Four of Cups. I know you can't see the cards, but I'll cut them here in front of you. Being unhappy, yes, you're starting over. Destiny, the reason destiny came in your reading, and there's going to be a proposal or a proposition, one that you won't be able to say no to. And it could be connected to another person who is of earth energy like you, someone wonderful, earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. So, okay, uh, this was about you not being happy. And this earth energy might be very supportive towards you, but I feel like, to be honest with you, the truth of the matter is there is a, major, a new beginning, that's for sure. This new beginning is bringing you a lot to be grateful for, a lot of uh, money, changing. So destiny is removing this unhappiness where you're unhappy and taking you to the next level. The next level, you are going to be very happy. You're going to be working at something you love, making, producing a lot of money, making a lot of money. Someone by your side supporting you and helping you, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. A new beginning that's going to be expanding and bringing you so much profits. And the sun will be shining in your path in every way. My dear Taurus, you are going to be absolutely abundant and feeling quite happy, extremely happy with what's happening. Destiny is going to make sure of that. Just like they're saying to you that you are protected and cherished by the angels, these same angels are the ones who are going to be protecting you. And there's going to be a major rise in your money where to the point where you'll be investing investing well with with integrity with value and long term being empowered financially long term to be able to help others who are less fortunate to be very powerful you are going to be an extreme power and destiny is taking you to that level because where you are now you're not happy that's coming to an end and you're moving forward i think you're ending uh, something where you're working with people of water energy and you're moving towards earth earth energy like yourself you will do exceptionally well and i feel like abundance is coming and that is the end of your reading i hope you enjoyed my dear taurus do give me a thumbs up please see videos always all my videos as many as you watch do see them till the end in support of me when you want to support me see the videos till the end and please subscribe to the channel it's absolutely free it takes a few seconds of your time i wish you all my best love and light and everything you do the sun is going to be shining in your path you are celebrating something magnificent and i feel like the celebration is this gold that brings a lot of integrity and the wheel of fortune twice in your reading bringing you so much to be grateful for so much abundance, so much. You will be in so much gratitude that you are going to be absolutely in awe as to all that is coming to you. And the amount of it, the magnitude of it, the way it comes, the way it elevates you, it's all going to be very powerful. And the power of the magician, don't forget there were three magicians in your reading, which is extraordinary amount of power with the two wheel of fortune. So yes, there will be so much to celebrate. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I wish you abundance of blessings, all love and light, all my blessings. Namaste.